Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raven Schild. I went back to space and we have to do some repair work before we continue our travels, I would say. One thing I need to see is, do we have artificial gravity turned on? We have. We will turn that off because I want to grind some things down and I want my systems to be able to pick that up. Ah, so gravity. Gravity gens off. And maybe there's one here too. There's one here too, so we turn that off too. Um <laughs> I'm I'm sitting here and I'm kind of delaying going back to what I should do or what I shouldn't do. I don't know. I'm it is. The whole thing still irks me when it comes to, uh, yeah, don't know. Continuing continuing my work on the alien planet. I'm. I think I will break that off and do other stuff. Maybe return to Mars after I kind of made everything uh safe so it can can stay alone for a while just so that i maybe can do some work here again i want to work on the uh, upgraded suspension hopefully and i want to get that done because it's stuck in my head and doesn't leave me that this should be <sighs> this should be done first before I do anything else. I'm <laughs> I got some comments on the last video about that I maybe should restart at one point or something like that. The thing is I'm close to 1000 episodes in this series again this series is not the continuation of this series is not kind of a thing where i where i stuck to one game since i'm recording it or one world because i started when everything was still new and fresh and all that stuff problem with that is that yeah definitely um I'm I couldn't keep the world all the time. Um I think we will go with the white. Hopefully that is the same white. Um the the worlds were not uh I was not able to to keep the worlds as they were because yeah, again the the game the game got updated so much that yeah at one point worlds were lost worlds were lost to don't know other issues and now i kind of want to stick with this world keep um keep working here and finishing hopefully at one point a thousand episodes that would be the, the, that is kind of the whole goal of the thing right now. And I want to stick to this. So that's why I'm now desperately searching for yeah, things I want to keep up doing. Because the, the whole work on the alien planet is fulfilling, but... I don't know. It's it's a weird thing that that some projects are just not something yeah that I want to continue for now. It's weird. Um I'm running always running into the problem that I uh, most of the time want to do a different different things so that I can <sighs> I don't know the 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 I I have to admit that nothing nothing quite quite gripped me as much as building 
the rovers on Mars. That was a thing where I... I had to at one point just say, okay, now please let loose of this so that you can do other things too. And uh, now that I saw the state of the world and the fact that um, some things are very, very much broken, ugh, I kind of want to go back to these things and uh, repair, um, expand... I don't know the 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 work on the work on Mars and the work on Object eighty five were the and Dune kind of were the things that really were things where I really was heavily invested, <laughs> heavily inv invested. I'm not sure if the color is right, but they look a lot better than the normal frames before. Good. Let us find where the gyros are. The gyros were one of the main things that I had problems with here. Because the ship was awfully snappy. Awfully snappy. Um, and I can't really explain why the, the ship is heavy and big. And I have modded... Uh, gyroscopes in here that that put out more more force but the big problem with it is it shouldn't be that much force <laughs> so we will maybe turn to uh, vanilla gyroscopes see how how many we need to get a good yeah, a good amount of force into the whole thing. I think the gyros are somewhere down here. Yes, there they are. And see, I just have six, twelve of these things here. And they should be turned off. I don't know. Maybe I have some hidden gyros. Um... Uh, I hit some of the gyros. That's why they, why they made problems. So, I have a lot of the thousand percent gyros. So, maybe if we turn these off. Maybe if we turn these off, we already kind of got the problem out of the way. Let us see how it behaves now. Maybe we can just remove the few gyros or the gyros that we... See, it is still doing that. And now I damaged something. Whoa, that was aggressive so if I turn down the thousand percent gyros oh I have so many I have so many of them one two three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen <laughs> Turn them off. It gets better. It gets better. So the... Uh, that was a lot of damage. I need to repair that too. Let me repair this. And then I will come back to you. And we will find the gyros and maybe remove them all. Start a new... Oh no, what did I do? do here ugh, ugh, yeah repair this the damage on the outside was bigger than I thought <laughs> it, I ripped apart a whole lot of the ship uh, that I didn't see ugh. but it's fixed now so we can continue to dismantle gyroscopes 
And I will start with these ones and then I will have to fight the other ones. There must be more. And I don't know where. So maybe they are behind walls or something like that. But that gives us the opportunity to... I don't know. I'm, I usually use these times also for just discussing things and oh these are more than on the other side um i had some comments about uh or some i had someone comment that um uh that this is not fun because i use mods and i don't know that that's something i don't react to because it's just I can play the game however I want if somebody else thinks uh, mods are dumb don't use them and have fun with the game however you want it this game is definitely a game made for mods uh, that's how everything is integrated and all that stuff makes yeah makes clear that mods are a thing that that oh there's more okay how uh mods are definitely a thing that that is welcomed and so i'm i'm definitely again i'm i'm i that's a discussion we we don't really need to have play the game however you want it if you like it without mods that's good then have fun with uh, with the the challenges not having mod mod springs um that was not the argument again that, that there was no argument we we didn't we didn't argue about anything it's just the 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 opinion was again that the challenge is gone when um mod, mods are involved it might be the case for some things again there's crazy mods that make uh, farming ores completely uh, uh, irrelevant then uh, there's mod mods that make the whole thing even harder so if you want challenge then some mods might be definitely on the on the table for you if you if you think about what uh, Splitsy is doing um, that definitely is far more of a challenge than even the vanilla game because again the vanilla game doesn't have a real challenge um, get energy get oxygen done uh, survival survival done challenge lies in what you build how you build it and again if if the challenge of building something in in vanilla is is your thing then half at it um i said again i'm playing with mods i like the mods i'm i want to use them and one thing we should think about is and before people get angry about the mods is uh, some of the things that are in the game now wouldn't be here if it weren't for mods so your hinges for example um space engineers got hinges through mods and now that they are in vanilla they yeah they definitely came from that mod um the same for so much else um the 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 inspiration the space engineers team took from uh, from mods is big. There's, there was definitely a big influence for um, from the mods uh, when it comes to what what Keen puts into the game, and um, that is something. Yeah, that we we all should think about when we when we start argue start again arguments wrong word start to talk about uh what what 
don't know if we want to use vanilla or mods or however uh, the mods are necessary for space engineers i think space engineers wouldn't have such a long life if it weren't for mods and uh, again the, you can make the game really challenging with mods so again that's that's always an argument that that is there get get the mods to make the game even harder again i like to just go the other route and have some things a bit easier when it comes to welding because that for me is just a, a time issue where i um yeah where i can use mods to make my life easier when it comes to how much time a space engineer uses up while i'm while i'm doing stuff here so um that's the thing for me when it comes to build and repair systems and all that stuff and most of the mods i use i don't know am i using so many of the mods that make life so much easier i'm i'm not sure i don't know so um most of the guns yeah most of the guns i have that fighting it makes fighting a lot easier uh but again the the i think it it was the the whole dune thing where i just heavily use mods to get around just restrictions that the game have has and um in that yeah that was the plan there use all the mods and all the crazy power power production stuff that i have there just to be able to build some things that in in usual in normal space engineers would just yeah i don't know be not be the same let's say it that way um good gyros uh we will go and use maybe vanilla gyros and i'm not sure where to put them i have space behind these walls so maybe i do that so that i can reach that stuff too uh, that would be good um let's go i will put them on the inside wall here so go for broke oh, no four five six seven 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. We will just go for 20 for now. And put on the other side, put the same number. Wait until they are built up use them uh, let's see if there is more gyros that i maybe have missed yeah there's more gyros so where could they be and yeah, now it is time to just take the ship apart rip into all the walls and take a look i could yeah we could do the we could do the reasonable thing and say gyros and then put all the gyros on the hud okay it packs them Gyros in the wall there. Okay, then. I think I filled every nook and cranny <laughs> with gyros. Maybe a bit too much. We'll see. So, there's some 
in the ceiling too. Shouldn't be some in the ceiling. Oh, okay. There are they. Come on. Go away. They run along... Ah, they run along the spine of the ship too. So, good. Let's take this apart. And then I will go to the other side and rip them out. Once I have found all the gyros, we will go and test out how whippy it is then. And uh, do I have other things to do? We will see. Um, there might be other things that I need to address here. But I will rip these gyros out for now and we'll come back to you then. So now I have more accessible gyroscopes. That is a great thing. Um, I still have to use the modded gyroscopes, I found out. Um, with just the vanilla ones, I there is nothing that will make this ship move. And I have to use more of the modded ones, but I can get to them and I have some more spaces to put them in. And I want to put some lights in here and these will get exchanged too um, for modded ones and then I will turn them the right way and all that stuff. I might put in some controls here so that we can maybe turn them on and off from from this position or from this these rooms. I've put some more blocks in because uh, behind this there are the thrusters and to maybe keep this a bit more safe I will put some half blocks or have put some half blocks in front of it. We have a walkway now. It's it is all in the vein of I don't know I need to finish stuff <laughs> I have the feeling sometimes. We, we talked about the, yeah, nothing gets ever finished and maybe some things should be, uh, yeah, should be finished in the future. And uh, one of these things is the ship. The, the ship definitely uh, never got really finished and that needs to definitely change at one point. One thing that I thought of that we maybe can put in is a shield generator. We have the shields back. This ship had shields when it was uh, when I first built it and I removed the shields because of the laser antennas. The laser antennas still don't do what they should do. So Maybe it is now the shield, uh, the, the the laser antennas that make problems. I don't know. But we will put back some shields so that we can run this again. And I will tinker a bit more with the gyroscopes. Again, the, at the moment, there is not really things that can be done. The, the ship needs more gyros. Um, each of the modded gyros uh, replaces 11 other gyros and let's I'm I'm using the keys now because that just puts full power on it. You can see this thing doesn't budge at the moment. That's on the other hand it's pretty good because uh, it doesn't roll like a fighter anymore but Again, I, the the if I think that with one of the or four of the the gyros that the the modded gyros I can replace uh, all the vanilla gyros I have in here now. Yeah, we will have to put more of these in, but maybe step it up slowly so that we can get it under control and see where where I want to stop stop it because again th this is a big ship i wanted to have it maneuverable but not this maneuverable especially because again the 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 the, the ship changed in the when i first built the ship i 
I had put the Atlas Super Laser in front. The Super Laser is, is not worth anything if you can't maneuver the ship or if it takes four hours to maneuver the ship in into a position from where it can shoot. So, again, we, we need to balance that a bit more and do a bit more stuff here. And again, then... Uh, everything deserves so much more work. There is so much empty space in here that definitely, very definitely would like to put some effort in. But again, the rooms are airtight again, and these rooms, by the way, are airtight now too. So that helps. We can work in here, and they are a bit more protected. Now with the shields, we hopefully don't have too much of a problem um we will have to see i'm running by the way maybe someone knows it i'm running constantly into the problem that this the color of these two blocks is different um they changed the color system at one point and now i have to pick colors and then try to match it up again it's not possible there it maybe i need to bring get grab my paint gun and do some work with that again it's maybe somebody has a solution for that that is better see here the, the same problem i pick the color already so i can remove that at least where it really is apparent Ugh, but we will see good people but that's all for today i don't have time anymore it took longer than i I was expecting and I have to edit this and then put it on YouTube and then I I have a play date <laughs> so, so, so I will uh, will do some some gaming with a friend and uh, that will be fun good people I will say thanks for watching let me bring let me bring you out of this gray interior here right now <laughs> uh, so yeah hope you like this episode if you did please leave a like on the video if you're new here consider subscribing i'm yeah i'm trying to put out more videos and i'm trying to get uh yeah still don't know find my way around this all okay people thanks for watching hope you liked it if you did please leave a like on the video da, 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 continue da, da, da. i hope to see you in the next one see you guys